Uh, damn it, um, install.php, sorry. Um, go ahead and just uh, click on that, install.php. Oh, shoot, sorry, uh, open, actually. We just downloaded it, oh well. Um, now this is the setup for setting up SMF installer form. Um, overall, we're at 0%. This is just a welcome screen. It will check the writable check next, like, so files can be written. So press continue. It'll go to step 3, as step 2 is automatic. Step 3 is the database settings. Um, here we will manually set up a uh, database. I was having problems with it automatically creating it, so we will actually manually create a database. Um, go to uh, go back to your C panel. You can uh, it should be in another tab. Leave this open. Head over to um, software and services, third option up. Uh, go to MySQL. That's a database. Now create new database and user. Okay, we will create the database. The MySQL database name will be SMF. Um, I put one just to be safe, so it doesn't uh, hit anything else. Uh, username, that's uh, just like uh, the name of it that will be used to log in. Um, do not have it the same as a database, I'm just thinking of a name like a uh, Love host, why not? Host. Okay, I guess we can only have max characters there, alright. Um, the password for the FTP. And click create database. Now, the database should be complete. It'll tell you uh, that it's been complete. Click back to my CQL. Now, you'll see here the uh, information for your database. <laughs> the uh, MySQL database, username and host. Um, the host, copy the host over first. Copy the uh, host. Don't copy it directly from here, like from mine, because it will probably, most in most cases, will be different for you, unless you're on the same server as I am, but it might still be different. So click that. No, I have two of those open. My bad. Um, yeah, you might have two of those open. Just make sure you go back to the correct one. Just have one open. Um, so you have your host in your clipboard, server name, replace localhost with the FTP server host, or the uh, web host thing. Um, username is the username of your database, e.g. in my case it will be SMF host. go ahead and paste that over. The uh, password is the password for the database that you've created when creating the database. So, I uh, hope you remember that. I'm pretty sure you can reset that if you do not remember it. Um, maybe. Maybe. If force comes to work, just create a new database if you don't remember that. Um, the database name, give it the uh, MySQL database name right here copy the name over into the database name so we'll connect to this database and the table prefix uh, prefix uh, cannot say that word prefix uh, just keep that the same just keep it how it is now we should be on a uh, step four forum settings um, forum name is just like the uh, name of your form I will have mine as HDD Pro Test. Maybe Prod Test. Some people think I'm a hard drive disk pro. Um, forum URL. Like uh, when somebody types this into the address bar, this link will be the home, like the main root of your forum, the overall home. Like on mine, if you notice, uh, we'll go to hdproductions.com it mines in a subfolder instead of just being here like I have it installed in another folder because I have different like a few different categories on my website but uh, notice this page right here the home page is the overall home 
whenever uh, you connect to hdproductions.com slash forums. I mean, I have a redirection set, so it actually comes here. I'll show you how to do that later, too. Um, most of these options can just stay the same. Just leave those alone. Uh, click continue. Now you should be on 65% done. Step 5, database population. It just tells you how many uh, tables and rows were created in the database. You can click continue. Admin account. Now this is important. This is the uh, main account that you, uh, that you log into to maintain the forum and do things with it. So you need this. This is important. I'll just have my name is HDD Pro. Damn it. And your email address. Database password is the password for your database. Um, just type the password for your database in right there. And now it's complete. Um, click. You have to click this button. Um, to you, you have to delete the uh, install.php, or else somebody else will come through and like notice the install PHP is there and try to like reinstall the forum, which really would not end well for anybody. Well, maybe for him, but yeah. All right. So uh, if you, you can just go to the website now, and your forum will be installed. Here we have the forum. This is what your form will look like with few alterations, like uh, you might have something totally different for your name up there and a different name. Um, Alright, so that's it for now. Um, if you have any troubles, please post a comment below or head over to my form and uh, feel free to ask for help. I'm on my forum a lot more than I am a YouTube channel, but I'm going to try to get on this channel like once a day. Form, I'll be on there a few times a day. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just please do not hesitate to ask. Please feel free to ask. Um, hope this video helped you out. And uh, enjoy your forum. And, oh, also, uh, look for the videos following this on how to install themes uh, and just how to maintain the form overall. They will really help if you are not familiar with this software. Um, Alright, enjoy your day.